Hytale just got delayed, and you are supposedly on the verge of a mental breakdown. Don't know what to do or how to move on with life without breaking down into eternal sadness? I got you. Here is how you can survive this catastrophic event that changed the Hytale community, or should I say, changed gaming completely. Now, without further ado, here is the Hytale Delay Survival Guide, consisting of three simple steps. Now first what you want to think of doing is accept it. Accept it. I want you to bluntly accept the fact that life sucks sometimes and you can't do anything about it. As a wise philosopher once said, if something is not in your control, then you can't control it. Point is, Hytale's delay is something you can't control, unless we protest the developer's butts off, but that would result in an unprepared game. Right, CD Projekt Red? So sit back and enjoy life, while the two-year wait seems like nothing but another Sunday passing by in minutes, as you accept the fact that Hytale is to be waited for for another frickin' two years! And now you're ready for the second step. Start a YouTube channel. And I don't just mean start a YouTube channel, I mean start making fan art, d do Hytale uh, research, uh, learn Java, that's Hytale's coding language, prepare yourself for Hytale in any way possible, if you really love Hytale and want to make it in the community. But Ray, there's like two years left for the public release. There are other things I should be doing, like focusing on schoolwork. Don't you dare finish that sentence. Now shut up and get to preparation. That was a joke. I'm not saying give up on your normal life or anything like that. I'm just saying that if you really want to be prepared for Minecraft 2, you gotta start doing something now. No matter the light years it's gonna take for the release date. Now for the third thing to do if you're in serious pain and are struggling for patience and everlasting peace, I suggest you to play other games to pass your time. I don't think watching YouTube or browsing Reddit releases the same hormones as playing a video game does. You know why Mondays feel so long and Sundays feel so short? Because every Monday you're doing the same boring thing over and over and over again, unable to keep your sanity together. But on Sundays, you do things you genuinely love doing, and you're so going with the flow that you forget the amount of time you spent doing it. It's like falling into a deep sleep, waking up not knowing God knows how many hours you spent sleeping. Well, in this case, you're gonna be waking up to Hytale. So keep yourself busy and forget about the two years of waiting just like you did since 2018. Work on your Hytale stuff, do what you love, or just, or just go on with your life. You'll soon be at peace and fully forget you were even waiting for the game for a time that felt like two freaking seconds. So those are the three, three so those are the three basic recommended steps you're gonna need to survive the uprising of impatience and riots on the streets for a game that was hyped for by many. Feel free to subscribe, also check out my Discord and Twitter. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.